Michigan Stadium in this rivalry, you were catching that pass from Denard. Big, big catch. Are those the type of moments that you live for in this rivalry? Uh, yeah, man. I just, um, just live to play the game for my team. Just expecting a hard game, like a, a full 60 minutes football, hard nose football. So, you know, don't care about the big plays. You know, that was two years ago, so I'm just focus on this area. What does this rivalry mean to you? It means everything, man. It means, it means the world. I mean, been rivalry since I don't even remember when. But just something about Michigan and, and, and Notre Dame that that grabs everybody's attention. That that's, that list makes college football to me. Uh, so it means everything. Yeah. Jimmy, what's it like when Devin pulls one down on third down and starts? kind of dancing around. It's different than Denard, but what's it like when you're running a route? What's going through your head knowing? Is there like a time frame in your mind to say, i got to break this off at a certain point? Or what's that? What is that process like? I uh, just see him scramble. I'm trying to get open. But if he's got his, if his mindset is running the ball and trying to get a first down, and I'm focused on blocking for him and helping him get that first down. So. That's a fine line, though. You have to kind of figure out, you know, is he going to run or is he going to throw it? I mean, yeah. If is he's, that difficult? I mean, not really. If he tucks the ball, then I know he's running. I mean, yeah. He still has the ball open and looking downfield. And, Obviously, it's basketball, so it's just a matter of me just paying attention to him and just knowing what he wants to do. And is that kind of a, a money time for you guys? I mean, sometimes that can really be an easy catch. I mean, it can, it, can lead, it can lead to a big play, yeah. the so it can lead to him just getting the first down. So yeah. I'm just, I was just focused and paying attention to what, he's, what he wants to do. It seemed like he was on Saturday more willing to take chances with you than he is with other guys. I mean, do you know that, like, when you have a window, like, even though his cornerbacks are coming up across and he's still trying to fire it in there in the end zone, do you know that he's going to take that chance with you sometimes? Uh, I mean, both the touchdowns, you know, where you caught the ball, I mean, obviously one didn't count, but he really fired it in there. It's just a matter of him trusting, you know, just, just throwing the ball, just knowing I'm going to catch it. That's it. it about sums it up about that. As a receiving core, how excited were you guys to see uh, Joe make that big catch? I'm really excited, man, just because <laughs> he works so hard. He, he's a hard worker. He comes out every day with, with a lot of energy, and um, he puts everything into whatever he, whatever he does. And, um, just to see him make a big play like that, it was, it was amazing and exciting. So. What was his reaction after that? What was, he, what was his demeanor? Couldn't get a smile off his face. I mean, <laughs> he was happy for the whole entire game. It was just great to see him just, you know, just happy and having fun. Have you, have you seen him since then? Is he, is he up? Is he walking around? Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. He's, he's fine. He's practicing today, so everything's okay with him.